Hey, Ryan at Bloggers. We're going to organize some quick video tutorials to share some tips and tricks in terms of search engine optimization and uh, blogging tips. So this is the first in a series of tutorials, and in this overview, we're going to talk about uh, what was really one of the search engine optimization uh, basic principles, which is links. Links are really, really valuable to search engines because it means that there's some relevancy. There's some content that has relevancy in your blog posts. So let's talk about how to insert and embed hyperlinks into a blog post or a blog page. What I'm going to do now is go to silkscreeningsupplies.com and I've navigated here to the um, exposure units. So if you wanted to do a blog post about you know, an exposure unit or a piece of equipment, you can go to any website or, or silkscreeningsupplies.com and you can grab some text. Um, so what I'm going to do is just highlight some text and I'm going to hit control C on the keyboard or command C if you happen to be working on a Mac. Now it's going to copy to the clipboard. So I can go right back into my blog post and I can paste that text now uh, right into my blog post. Now that I've done that, if I want to seed this or embed some links, I have the opportunity to do that at this stage. So what, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to silkscreeningsupplies.com and here we have that product page where we've just copied information from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this uh, link, this absolute path, this complete URL, and the way I'm going to do that is just go into my upper browser here, and I'm just going to take my left or my left mouse button, and I'm just going to highlight all of that text, and I'm going to hit Control C or Command C if you happen to be on a Mac to uh, copy that to the clipboard once again. So we'll go right back to our blog post. Now at this stage, we want to go into our blog post and find some keywords and key phrases or uh, an appropriate you know, uh, portion of text to embed a link. So in this case, here we have this text, aluminum automated UV exposure unit. So what I can do now is I can take exposure unit or I can take aluminum automated UV exposure unit and I can just take my left mouse button and depress that and then uh, basically uh, highlight the text that I want to make a active link out of. So now that that's done, you'll notice that we have two options here where my mouse is now hovering. I'm going to leave my mouse hovered over the first option which says insert or edit a link. And the shortcut for this in uh, WordPress is Alt Shift A. So if you click this option, that's going to let you embed a link into that uh, text that we just highlighted. So of course, if I hit Control V or Command V on a Mac, uh, this will go ahead and place that hyperlink uh, that we copied right into this link URL. Now that uh, the next stage is to choose a target. And under the drop down here, we have two options. And this option is, hey, if somebody clicks this link, what's going to happen? Is it going to uh, take them from my blog to this web page? Or do we want to open it up in a new browser window? And oftentimes, if you're referring them outside of your website, you're going to want to open that up in a new window. That way, they can still maintain access to your blog. But then they have a new browser window for the referred link. Now we can also put a title. And a title is also important for search engine optimization because you can seed and embed keywords here. But this is also important to your readers. You know, if they hover their mouse over that link, it's going to you know tell them specific, specifically and implicitly what that link is. So here I could put Ryanet um, expo UV exposure unit. So we can go type in all the details here, and I can go insert, and that has now been inserted or embedded into my blog post. Now let's take a look at and see what this looks like. So I'll go ahead and preview this uh, specific blog post and we can see what that um, that link looks like. So notice here we have that text that we copied from silkscreensupplies.com and notice if I hover my mouse over that specific link you'll see that that title text now appears, Ryanet UV Exposure Units. And if I were to click that link you'll notice we'll be right uh, delivered to uh, that specific page that we um, uh, embedded. So that is the process of embedding a hyperlink into a blog post and oftentimes what you want to do is refer you know, in, in your blog post, you should always have at least two to three links uh, that associate maybe externally uh, to different websites or even internally. So if you did a previous blog post about, you know, burning screens or setting up, uh, you know, screens, whatever it may be, you may want to link back to a previous blog post. And once again, that creates more value for search engine optimization. Now, pay attention. We intend to offer one uh, video training tutorial per week uh, to help you in and assist you with your blogging adventures. And a lot of this education will also help in your um, you know, business website as well. So a lot of this will be general and practical advice. Now, uh, before I conclude here, one thing I wanted to share with you, one of the tools that you'll have 
once again, we've talked about the uh, insert and edit link and the ability to uh, unlink or remove a link. If you were to go and copy some text from a different website, you can actually remove all the hyperlinks uh, from that text. Now, uh, this is a pretty uniform and standard process. So whether you're using Blogger or Tumblr or some of the other microblogging platforms, um, that these are pretty standard functions. So make sure to look for those icons. Make sure to use some of the help forums or help options in your blogging platform to find out about how to embed a link.